Hello everybody, this is Sonia and I'm in Australia and I'm finally back here. I've been away for a little while doing, sorting out the room <laughs> again, 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 again. Um, I have to sometimes have a, have a bit of it sort out and um, I had to, a friend help me do a bit and we've nearly finished so that's really good. I'm really pleased about that but now I just, there's so many things that I want to do. I have been making some stuff while I've been away. And I'm going to do a tutorial now for you because I want to do something, um, well, I do want to do a tutorial, so, uh, or, or, or two or three. Right, so we've got a, um, a doily, and we're going to make one of these doily, doily, yo-yo flower doily thingies, okay? Isn't that cool? Do love them, do, I do love them, okay? So here's some that I've made earlier. And they look good. I do like these. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick show of that one. This is um, another one there that I've made. Okay, so this is all All you need to do is make a yo-yo flower and put it on your doily. Okay, now you need to be able to get the um, that part there, the circle, Big enough to make for your uh, oily, see, because you don't want it to be too big and you want it to come to a, at least to a certain part on your, on the piece of oily. These are bits cut off of um, little tiny pieces. Make really nice flowers, don't they? Or, or pieces to put in anything that you're doing. Okay, so I've got a piece of uh, old tablecloth. <laughs> a retro sort of thing, I suppose it would be because it's like a seersucker and it's, I do love the colours, I do love the colours on it. So I'm going to tear a piece off this, so I can make a circle, and just show you how easy this is to make these um, little round things. So I want to have, I want to have at least, when you make this, You've got to think that what you're doing, what you can see here, is not going to be what you can see when you put it on. That'll be under the bottom, right? You get me what I'm saying? <laughs> All, the pretty flower, well, if you can't see it, so it's very faded, but that's what I like about it. It's supposed to be this, like that. And all this part here, which will be in the centre of your doily, if you, put, if you pick that bit, that'll be hidden. So you need to cut it out so it's over here. If you've got a all over piece of um, fabric like like that it doesn't really matter because you'll get a bit of your flower anyway okay I wanted to do this one because I just do this color I want to just do this one so I'm going to put it so um, this part here will be some on the top and you need to cut this out so it is about a uh, half an inch bigger then your doily, okay? Because you want it to come back into here when it's finished. So that's what you want to do. Try not to make it all choppy like mine, but it's not too bad, I suppose, okay? Right, now, I hope everybody's feeling good. I hope they oh, my word, I am. Weather, the weather is so much better here now, too. Right, I had the pin cushion. Here we go. I knew I had the pen cushion. Now I'm going to get a piece of thread. Everything's at my fingertips nearly now. <laughs> so I don't have to. Tell you what, my legs haven't been happy though, but never mind. <coughs> Moving around. <laughs> but it's good for me. Good exercise anyway. But sort of good, good and bad in a way. Weird you out further, quicker, but good because you need it. <laughs> okay. So now you want to pick the side that you want to have um, at the top. This is underneath, right? So I'm just going to go around here with sort of lightning stitches, you know, not too not too far apart because you don't want to be big gaps in them. And just gather that on there like so. And just go on in and out, up, you know, like <coughs> this is actually called a running stitch, and it is not necessarily <laughs> done this quick. You know, you just um, well, it's just. Anyhow, rules <laughs> for words, that seems strange for me. Radio. Now, 
Oh gee, I missed doing crafting. I do have done some, but not. I just miss going on here and. But when there was things everywhere, it was very hard. So now you just want to pull that in. You know, if you didn't notice that, I come up on the outside here. When I come down, I went down, and then I come out. So my threads on the top. Okay. So when you pull it in, you've got some of that. Um, that's what's underneath, which you're not going to see, and you've got some of the pink and that on the top of it here, see? And hopefully, if I've done it right, I'm going to have it in the centre there. So what you really need to do is work out how far back you want it to be, like how far this centre needs to be, so you can have how much you want sitting out, okay? Add that to the circumference of... So that much I added on and cut round, and then I just took in a small hem. Well, it needs to be so it will be good enough that it'll hang on. You don't want something that's going to come undone because it's too close to the outside. I've taken in that about oh, half a centimetre, maybe. <laughs> oh dear, I'm, I'm not a very good with centimetres. I'm going to have to learn a bit more about that. I've got a bit of an idea. But it's about half a centimetre, I think. Where's my tape? I have got that many tape measures here. I think it's a bit silly somehow because I found them all yesterday. A big box in them. Oh, I'm going to just look at the shows. Now we've got... The stitching is in about... maybe half a centimetre, okay? So that far. That's an inch, Sonia. Half a centimetre is over here, okay? From there to there. Is that a bit... There you see. That's a centimetre, That's a and it'd be nearly a quarter of an inch. And then I left, I made it, um, I think it's half an inch big around the edge, which is a centimetre around the edge extra, because I wanted it to sit in back in that far. All right? So you can see that that's where it's going to be. Because if you want to put that on there, that sort of defeats the purpose, because you haven't got the nice gathery up bit, you know? I think that's a word, don't know. <laughs> I can say that for sure. So in the centre of that, I wanted to put these... Um, one of these flowers and when I say one of these flowers I'd like to know what I did with them now um, one of them flowers I've got them all put away so I can find them <laughs> eh, yes well they were in a box handy maybe I'll put them in a jar now well I've got a little I've got a little see these I set one of those in you can always put a, a, one of these roses because what I'm going for is a, a an old sort of fashiony look anyway. Oh, that looks good. I do like them roses and things on there. I think they look really nice. I do. I'm a fan of that. I might put the glue on this piece. Glue it down. You can stitch it if you want to. It's up to you. You can put a piece on the back of it if you like. I've got little felt circles. But I don't think you need to because you're not going to look... I think I've sewed that piece on there while that's coming through. Right, that's what I sewed on. You can put a piece of um, circle felt or um, whatever you want to on the back of it if you like. I don't think I'll put anything on them because you don't really need to. You can't see anything and that's going to dry like that, I hope. And then I want to put this on the top and I've, I'm using craft glue which is clear drying and it says it's non-toxic. Um, I buy it here in Australia and it's called a port, it's a porter craft one. A lot of other ladies over in America I know use, um, oh, what is that one that I use? Oh, what is it called? <laughs> ah, dear, I don't remember now. Uh, yes, when I, when I think of it, I'll tell you this, I'll, I'll tell people what it is because a lot of people like to know if they're only first starting, they don't know what sort of glue to use, but all you have to do is read the packet of the jar, I mean the container, and if it says things like this, it can be, um, it, it heeds to absorb, <laughs> oh, porous surfaces, right? okay, and it has, um, it's suitable for polystyrene, which means like a lot of things that you put on um, polystyrene, polystyrene will eat a little away if the, the glue's not right. Um, plastic, wood, metal, cardboard, thread, yarn, beads, sequences and fabric. This is pretty good at scrap making and card making crafts. It is a really good glue. It's, 
I really like it because it has a um, the drying time's fantastic for me. You know, I don't I like to still be able to manoeuvre, which I can still do move that a little tiny bit to get that into the centre to make my these make these little flowers here that I do, that I've been enjoying doing. And I've also got that one, which I'll show you how I did that. Maybe a little another time because I'm going to do another. Thing after this because I just I don't think I'll put <clears throat> I want to put uh, a couple of tutorials up but I want to put a couple of things in this one so while I'm working on that I'll show you what else I've got um, this is just two bits of dolly put together okay but these are made with the circles and this is actually made with a strip of a piece off the side of a, a dolly I gathered it up all right Anyway, I can show you that a little later. So there, that's how you do that one. This is Ms. Midoily, um Suffle, because that's what somebody calls it. Some people call them Suffle, some people call them Mio-Yo flowers. But that's my version, anyway. So that's what I did. Um, now, I want to show you what I have been doing as well. Like, there's another thing. Well, I'll, well, I'll stick with the fabric, then I'll go into a different tutorial and other things. So I've been making little sets of stuff, because this is really cool. <laughs> I do love these. I, oh, I do love these. There's a lady on here said she's addicted to these. Um, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> Paperclip things. Well, me too. <laughs> I really like them. But I decided I'd make some other things to, you know, like to go with it. Um, considering putting them in my Etsy store, and I get a few more things as a as a set. I've got them. Bit, bit more to get for this one now so that's with the with the flower and there's the doily and then I've got two of these um, paper clips one is one is a red one as you can see and the other one's um, uh, shiny <laughs> good ones on it now I've got a little um, envelope here I'm going to show you how to make this little envelope and it's still on the drying thing so it's still sitting here drying okay so you've got velcro on there and you've got a button this one here has got the velcro and the button really easy to make I did it by hand and you can either do it with the stitches or you can you can glue it if you want to or you can even sew around with the sewing machine now also I also have um, more here but I'll, I'll, I'll show you some more before I show you how to make it okay because um, I've been making these page patches uh, for my I don't know if I showed you that one or not this is one of the manure ones. These are page patches for your journals or whatever. You know, if you want a patch, that's what they made. I made a patch. Um, I think I've showed you those ones. Really think these are old. You should look and these will be um, a nice set to all together when I fix this. Uh, you know, to go with something that you do that you're doing that is um, um, retro -y sort of style. Look at that. Don't they, don't they look awesome together? They look good. Um, so I've got that, that set, which I'm not finished yet because I need to put lots more in yet. But I've got to, I've got to find the right things to put together. Okay, so these are here. We'll go in the pile. But one day I'll come on here and I'll make a video and I'll, and I'll show you what, what's going to be what. So that one there is made with a doily. I think I've showed you these because I was um, working on these before. That's cool, isn't it? That's just um, a flower. Well, you know, not just a flower. That is a flower. So I've got purple lots here as well. So that is what I've been doing. Okay. While I've been away. So I'm, I'm just working on these bits and pieces, which has been really, really good fun. Now I'll show you how to make the little envelopes, because I'm going to be doing little envelopes with each set of them when I get them done. We have sets for journals. <coughs> Look at that one, isn't that nice? That's a hanging down one. I think I've got another pink one around here somewhere. I don't know what I did with him because I was I was looking for the stuff to work with this morning. Oh, here it is. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? I do love them. And they go with these. See? They go with that. So that's my that'll be a collection of little pieces. Okay. And of course the little envelopes. So I'll make a little envelope with the pink. With the pink, uh, 
this one here I'm going to use. Okay, that's not big enough, I don't think. We'll work on that. Oh, what did I do with that piece? Sorry, people, I'm just here. Don't, nobody panic. I'm not gone very far. I haven't got any. Yeah, hang on a second. It's over here. Here it is. I knew it wasn't that far away. So, I need a piece of this. <clears throat> Love the colours. Just, I just do love the colours. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, before I cut it, I want to work out so this back part. Now, you either if you want to glue that onto something, you could. I've just got a piece of um, cellophane paper or whatever in there because it doesn't stick when I put the glue on that. I'll show you how to to do all that in a minute. <clears throat> now. I want to make them about the same size so that'll be the front of it that's pretty isn't it into there okay so we're going to tear it because I want it to be um, torn I guess <laughs> I want it to be torn and I'm going to now you can make them littler if you wanted to but you need to have I think what I've done is made them so I can actually Put your fingers in there if you need to get something out, you know. Put your hand in there if you want to get something out of it. So, <clears throat> going to have that part there. Now, <clears throat> as a rule, well, mostly, if you've got that torn, and you put those two sides in the same place there, like they line up here, that should be straight, right? <laughs> that should be straight for you, all right? And because see that frays, and if you've got the one thread fraying, fraying all of that coming down the way, if you can pull out a thread at the side, and I'm still going the way, let's get a side thread, Sonia. If you can pull out one thread, I can if I can get my hands in there, and it's all oh, this two, and that goes straight across, that's nice and straight, then okay. See, so that's how you want to straighten your piece of fabric, all right. Make sure you've got it lined up straight. And the two sides should be straight because that's all been torn straight. Okay, <laughs> it would be okay, right now. So I'm going to just put some cotton on the needle, and we're just going to do some of these. I'm not going to cut it yet because I'm just waiting until I do this bit. I know that's a bit silly. No, it's not. Let's let's cut it then. So you want it to come down about that far. I eyeball that because then I'll show you in a minute how far. I can tell you how big it is in a second. Right. So we need a piece of material, preferably cotton. You can use uh, something else if you want to. The reason I'm doing this is because it's going to go straight. I don't have to worry about um, cutting it straight or anything else. You know, like <clears throat> I've got a piece of material now that measures six inches, which is fifteen centimeters ish by. Three inches, which is six and three inches, which is <laughs> seven and a half quarter, seven and a half centimeters. So that'd be okay. That's um, me maths. Now I'm going to turn that up there that far, and that's going to come down there. But I don't want it to be that long. So let's go back up a bit. Now see, see here. This is looks crooked, but that's only the part that I've. I use these great big scissors that my son gave me because they're really sharp and really good to do sort of straightening with. I'm only cutting off the um, I'm only cutting off that frilly bit because I just want to make it straight. Okay, which way did I have it? Shall I go that way now? Probably changed my mind. Yes, why not? Okay, so I'm going to do that. This one here I've got on an angle because I had I got plenty of that and I'm going to put that on an angle too. But first of all I want to sew it. Okay, so we'll come start in the inside in here because you don't want any of your knots and things to be shown on the outside because I just did not make a knot. I forgot. I've got glue all over me, sorry about that. I'm talking at a hundred mile an hour here, aren't I? I don't know. So let's keep that nice and level. We could even stick a pin in there. You could do that. I should have done that. I'm not partial to pins. I get 
everything I own hooked around it. Do you know, me piece of cotton and that gets hooked up and I... Anyway, so I'm going to just do small stitches. Now, if you like and if you want your stitches to show like they are, you can use another colour, or, you know, a thread. I'm not going to do that because I'm just looking for a this sort of style of thing that I'm working on. So this is all I'm going for. You won't be able to put beads in here because the heart, the side of it's not stitched very small. I haven't done small stitches. I'm just doing it, you know, because it's going to be. It's just the way that I want it to look <laughs> with frayed and and stitching. Okay. And then I'm going to go across the bottom, even though it's not, it's got a crease in it, and it's not got no hole there. It. It's not a joint. I'm still doing this for the decorative part of the thing. Seems to be this, I've got the wrong needle because it's not going through this fabric very good. It must be very sharp. Okay, because this is cotton, and cotton is really good for doing this sort of thing. Polyester cotton, not so much. That's the one that's shiny. It's not very good for sewing on by hand. It's not actually something that <coughs> I recommend either to do this sort of thing with. <coughs> a linen fabric would be nice. A organza fabric would be nice. By organza, I mean um, you can see through it <laughs> mostly. <laughs> And the, and the linen one is something like you have um, the, the curtains and fabric for the um, furniture that's made out of sort of linen stuff <coughs> and other things of course, clothes <coughs> just depends on the thickness so you can use any sort of thing like that and there's me to the end of that there right out. So I've got that one. Now I'm going to go, <coughs> it's not that crash hot, but you know what? You're not supposed to, it's not supposed to be crash hot. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to do a back stitch here, a little one. And then I'm going to take my um, needle into the inside here, and I'm going to cut that off in there. Please let that have come through. It didn't come and threaded first. Let me see. I should stop resting my hands on the edge of the table because my arms because then it stops me from sewing. I know, no, you know, it makes me. <laughs> it's not. I know that sounds weird, but I'm pressing on my my arms, and that's not a good idea. <coughs> so I've got that. Pull it up tight, and then I don't want it to be all gaping open. You need to put. You need to pull that up there. What have I got here? Did that come over? No. Alright, good. And just snip that off. Okay. That's just a bit from there. So we don't panic about that. You know what? That's not even very straight either. That's shocking. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it's just me. It should be straight. Oh, it's because the frills are still not cut off. The frayed bit. Here. Only cut to there. Anyway, I can fray it undone after if I still want to. I might not have enough room. So for this part here, you're going to turn that over. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go back like this. Turn it back like that. And if you want to make it like an envelope, look, you want it to cut it down there. Okay? So if you're doing it this way, you're going to get both of them the same size. Right? You just cut that like that. And turn it over and you've got your little envelope, all right? Now, um, it's up to you what you want to put on here. I'm going to put a button on mine. I had a couple here somewhere that I kept out when I was looking for the others, so I could put them on here. Did I put them back? I must have done. Aren't I a good girl? <laughs> oh dear, sometimes, Sonia, I don't know. Where did you put them? I thought I kept the button out. Thought I did. I've got one there that's too big. Right, this one here. It's a bit spotty. I don't know if I like that. I'm not a big fan of that one. There's a knot in the end of here. Now I want to get two thicknesses of thread. 
to put through the button. It's a lot easier to fasten them on that way. It doesn't take as long. Should have sure I've left one sitting out, but anyway, let's just have a look in here, see if I can find something to use. Oh, look at that, isn't that awesome? I made, that's too big. One I made one time. I like that. <laughs> I'm going to stitch it on first. I've got, to, I've got double the thread and I'm coming up through the back and down here. Now you only have to do this a, a couple of times because the, the, the main object of this is just to hold the button on. I mean most of the time you do but if you're using the button for um, your shirt or something you want to put a fair few. I always put a lot of stitching in mine. <laughs> okay so I've got a big farther knot there. Um, it's okay, I'm going to cut that off in a minute. I'll cut it off in a minute because I'm going to put glue all over this. Oh well, a bit anyway. So I'm going to make it... <coughs> I'm going to cut, I'll cut it off only because it's too big. And hopefully my button doesn't fall off before I get some Velcro on it, eh? And I'm going to put the Velcro under here. Like that. Where is it? <clears throat> I've got both of the um, pieces, the piece that's going to set to it and the piece it's going to stick to and I need way more glue because I've got to put glue all over this. So you want to make sure you've got plenty of glue on it because you don't want the sides to lift up when you go to open it. And you need to wait until it dries before you start seeing if it opens <laughs> because don't be like me and start fiddling with it. I oh, know, so that's going to cover over the back of your button. I oh, know, hopefully it's behind the button. Maybe a tiny bit to that way. <laughs> Never mind. And a bit, a bit of cotton can go back under there. I oh, know. Now I'm going to make it sit there by sticking in glue, which I need to get some off of this top of my glue pot to be handy. Now I'm going to put the glue on here <coughs> on this bit, like so. I'm going to put this piece of cellophane sort of paper in my pocket because this is fabric and that's going to stick to that and go through to the other side and I won't be able to get it open. Now aim this shut with your glue on it and you're stuck in there and you've got yourself, you've got yourself a little, <laughs> see my eyesight's bad, <laughs> um, to that way a bit, the button maybe, I'll switch, turn it around, I don't know, I'm, it's all, it's all craft isn't it, it's all, it's all handmade so it's all like, oh dear be careful it doesn't squeeze out like I've just done that, I'm going to try and pull it apart. I hope you don't come to the stage where you're going to muck around with it like me because you know what, the more you fill with something the worse it gets and and then you get upset and there you go, how's that look, right? It's, a, it's stuck there, so it'll turn out like these. Hopefully you'll enjoy doing that. Now I showed you how to make those, I'm sure I did. Um, sometime few back okay so if you want to go and have a look at how I did those now these were first made I th the first time I seen these made they were made by um, Paula Furder very talented lady I love her work she has done some amazing things so if you want to go and watch her I think it's, I'm going to put a link to her channel down the, in the um, description box so here you go then I'm going to shut that down and, and think about whether I need to put something else on there later, you know, like I've got this little thing hanging on here because I just do like a bit of extra something on some things. Now, on the bottom of this one, while I'm here, I might just put some... Um, I wonder how long I've been on here for. I don't know. I think I'm going to turn it off because I want to show you a couple more tutorials on a couple of more things that I've been doing. Um, so these are just pretty much wrapped with, with fabric, okay? And then you just want to put a bit around, not a whole heap, and then you glue that on. And 
then you put on whatever little bits and pieces you want. And I do love the ladybug on there. So this pink will go with these sort of things here, see? This pink goes in that sort of one. Look at that. So I'm going to have to do a couple more of those um, envelopes. Now, um, I'm going to have to... I want to make some dangly bits on the bottom of here. I'm going to need some dangles on it. And some way of fastening that to... Um, I need a... Look what I've done. <laughs> I think I should sort that out, shouldn't I? I've got everything in the same pot. Um, when I say everything, I've got safety pins, uh, paper clips, bulb pins. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a safety pin for the top of there because I was just collecting all of. I'm gonna sort it all out. I'm gonna put a safety pin on that, but I'm not gonna do it like that because I need it to hang nice. So we need to put a um, a ring on it. We need to put a ring on this part. I can't use those one those jump rings that's got all them rings around and my hands won't let me put them on so I'm going to have to hope that this stays on there. When I say jump rings I'll just show you. Well that was silly. I did it up before I put it on the... the <laughs> yeah, dear. Okay. Yeah. Try again. So put that on there like that. And then you can pin it on whatever you want to. Okay. Because you've got to pin. Your pin looks a bit naked though, so let's put something on it. I suppose we could later. I might have to put something on the pin. You can, I've got bulb pins there, I could use one of those. That might look alright. I've also got red ones. Look at this. There's a red bulb pin in here. I used that on that other thing, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I could put one of those on here. Because I was going with the red, like strawberries and cream colours. Ladybug. <clears throat> so I can get this here and cut. That'll hang all right because of the. I think if you pinned it on something. Don't know if you need a circle on that or a ring. And if you do, but I need to put something on the bottom of it. So I don't know what that's going to be for the time being. And if I put a little flower on here, that'll look cool, won't it? I'm going to put a little flower on there. A tiny little red rose I'm going to put on this. That's actually got a piece of embroidery on there that I um, cut off an old doily thing I bought. So, recycled. Yes, a lot of this stuff's recycled that I use. I do like to use things again. This one here that I've been putting on these, this here, is a tablecloth too. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you. Look. Look at it. It's got all them, well it's not a tablecloth anymore. Look at it. Oh, isn't it nice? Beautiful. Love it. I'm, you know, having a great time here playing with all these bits. Cost me near nothing another day I bought it at a sale. Yep. So, in very good condition very well laundered and everything it was so that looks pretty cool I'm just going to have to do a movement of my knee now <laughs> I think <clears throat> ok now so then I need to find something to hang on the bottom of there ok so I've got a box of stuff over here I'm going to go and have a fish around in there for a minute I'll put this back in here I might have something in there I can see some red stuff Oh, look at that. Straight up, there's a bit of red stuff. The only thing is, will it look any good hanging off that? It might do, you know. What's it fastened to? Oh, look, interesting bead. Interesting bead. Actually, whatever it was, I've seen it was down here. Old jewellery that I've purchased that I can could not leave in the shop. I needed to do this with. Oh, look at that button. That's a beauty. He's really old. I'll have him. Dollar. There's a dollar. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? <coughs> I don't know what I'm after. I can't really say for sure. You know how when you see it, you know. Oh, okay. 
for some reason. Part of my ink. Ah, there's part of my pen. Oh dear. What's it doing in here? Oh, well, you wouldn't know with me. There's something there I'll have. That dangle bit there, that thing. You know. I only need two. Yeah, but I can't help looking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear, I didn't even show you I was fishing around in, did I? Sorry about that. I'm going to um, use something here in a minute. Let me see. I've got a few bits here. Let's have a look at this. What can I put on there? I'm going to put something on the bottom of that. All right. That would look awesome, wouldn't it? That is cool. But I do like the wooden ones. Paper thing I made, a clip thing. There was something else I've got. Yeah, this. Wow. It might be a bit long. Uh, nobody cares, do they? <laughs> might just break that, take it apart. I mean, and use that ball bit. By hanging that on there, do you think? What have I got on this one? Nothing yet. Yeah, I'll probably put this on here. So you could pin that in the side of your journals or things like that, you know, if you want something to. Because they look really cool, don't they? Really cool. Really beautiful, that is. I do like that. Okay, so then I've got this piece now. There's a butterfly on it. And to fasten that onto here, I'll need to put another ring on there. That bit there seems to be too long. I don't think I like that bit. What will I do about that? I'm sure there'll be something. I'm going to wind it down, I think. I'll put something else on it. That's a good idea. See if I can straighten this out. And if I can straighten it. Oh, it's warm. It's warm here. I'm cosy. <laughs> I haven't got any sleeves on. Look, no, no sleeves. <laughs> Actually, they come down to me elbows. But um, it's so good. It's been winter for six months. We have that kind of weather here where we have to put up, put up. Oh well, we live with. Um, really cold or really hot doesn't seem to be able to veer to the you know a bit of bit of spring or something would be nice but it doesn't seem to work out for us like that here I'm going to cut this and things are going to fly everywhere but you know what I'm going to have to do it you can't you can't not I'm going to have to do it to get something off here what do I have oh this bit I'm going to put that on and that on whoops come here you I'm taking this off that piece of um, necklace, okay, and trying to thread it on here, and I hope you can see what I'm trying to do. That one doesn't want to go on for me, it just wants to be, you know, painful. There's a red one. Let's get this little tiny brown bit in there. Come on, really? Okay. Oh, we got up real early this morning. I woke up and I said, my husband got up, I said, you're getting out of bed. And he said, yes, what time is it, 7 o'clock? I said, what the, are you doing? I mean, we used to get up at 8 o'clock, but he said he couldn't, he was just lying there, so he might as well get up. He's lying there thinking about what he was going to build it, I think. But anyway, he's um, going to be tired in a minute and want to go to sleep. Oh, that won't work. It's not going on there properly for me. Let's try this one. The hole's not big enough. Try that one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right. Now we can turn it over. Now, because it doesn't look so. Geez, I've lost everything. I've lost the plot here. Wait a minute. We turn that over like that. Hook that through there like so. The cat's out there playing in the hallway. Running up and down. He's a good sized pussy cat. He is. He rode up to be a good sized bloke and he's out there running around like a little horse. <laughs> You hear, him, you hear him playing, that's a good thing. He's having a fun time. You can go and sleep all afternoon then. <sighs> well, I hope so. Because he does tend to want to sit on you when you're doing things. That's why I can't bring him in here. I told him I would if he, if he didn't get, try to get on the table. But he keeps trying to get on the table and that's not good because 
<coughs> knock everything down. Okay. You know what? If I'd have done that properly, and it, and I do know how to do it properly. <laughs> Look what we do. I'll show you. You have it straight. You turn it to the side like that. Okay. Then you get it and you roll it back and you probably would do it better if you had round nose pliers because these are not really round nose pliers and then you curl it back up and it should end up in the centre of the bead and not to one side of the bead. Well, I've curled it up but I hope it doesn't hasn't gone too far. Now I'm going to hook this into here. No, you're not because it's not open. Well, I don't know. As we get older, our little old paws don't want to do what they used to do. <laughs> younger. They just don't want to go in the direction we do. It's, it's not easy when you... Now, it's upside down, the butterfly. Does anybody worry about that? Where's the thing I'm going to put it on, for goodness sake? Sonia, look, he's upside down. Oh, bless me soul. You'll have to turn it around, Sonia. You'll have to turn it around the other way. Hook that bit onto there so you can't do it wrong again. Well, <laughs> you never know. Okay, unhook that one. Put that one on there. Hook that back up like that. And you know what? I talk to myself all the time, telling myself what I'm doing, but that's okay because then you can hear me. You know what's in my mind and what I'm thinking of what I'm doing. There you go. Look at that. I did it. Isn't that pretty? I do like them. They are really nice. And they're going to be my, you know, I think it's strawberries and curry and cream, isn't it? Look. <laughs> Beautiful. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, where's the flower that I made that goes with it? I only want to do with the flower. Hmm. Okay, don't tell me it's sitting here looking at me. Here it is, here it is. I'm going to do some more of those. That not that nice? Anyway, look, I'm going to go now because I've got to go and tidy this up a bit. And I'll come back in a minute I'm going to show you a couple more things, okay? A couple more things. I hope that you like them. Okay, <clears throat> so thank you everybody for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.